Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more Dragon Age Inquisition, where we are in the haunted Chateau d'Ontarie. And there's lots of corpses wandering around, and lots of bad things happening, and spooky sounds. But, oh, and the torches are lighting themselves. Don't forget the torches light themselves, because that always keeps scaring me. Uh, but we've got a door, and we now have the key, so I'm going to open it, and, well, we can tell there's bad guys on the other side. So we're probably going to murder them. Oh, hello. Oh. Actually, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, just a bunch of corpses. Fifteen, uh, three level fifteen corpses. Uh, Cassandra... Mm, Cassandra, deal with that one for me. And you guys... Yeah, chain lightning those guys. Bye-bye. Ow! You actually managed to hit me. I'm offended. Cool. Yeah, corpses aren't really much of a threat. I don't feel like we've actually met much of a threat in this whole area. It's just been the suggestion of a threat, the possibility of a threat. There's, there's just enough spookiness happening that you feel like you could be in danger. Ah, god damn it. That really should not be allowed to miss like that. How did that even... Oh, wow. Oh, he kind of made you explode. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I did take a hit, but oh, I guess my barrier took the damage. Cool. Uh, looks like the balcony got broken. Why is the balcony broken? The balcony's broken there, there, and there. Kind of like something went doo-doo, doo-doo, or, you know, came doo-doo, doo-doo. Interesting. Okay, this is the magical floating box. We've heard references in to this in some of the texts we've read. Don't really know what it's all about. Oh. I gained ten cunning. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of magical bullshit happening. Oh, hello. Hey, buddy. What are, what are you? Hi, friend. And level 15 elite arcane horror. All the way down there. Okay. Well, I just got ten plus ten cunning. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing I can't go through here. No. Can we, like, break it? No. Okay. So I'm trapped up on the balcony and there's a bad guy down there. Fair enough. Well, I guess I've got to go through here. Oh, I've got... Is this actually a door I'm lockpicking? Okay. This is because I've got that Inquisition perk to allow me to do stuff like that. Okay, ooh, mosaic piece. Yeah, want that. Got some loot and another note. Lots of notes in this house, but they've all been interesting notes. I like I like the interesting notes. Ooh, wow, lots of loot. How are we doing in inventory space? 82 out of 90, yeah, we're going to need to dump some. Very shortly, if it keeps giving stuff out, like, ooh, level 3 mage headgear. That's pretty cool. I need that, actually. Alright, let's read this note. Lord Deontory's journal, dated 927 Dragon. That Circle Templar is demanding another payment, greedy bastard, taking advantage of us all these years because we wanted to preserve our good family name. He promised to silence the mage once returned to his circle, but that doesn't protect us from the Templar. I wonder, though, was it enough? No. The mage was strong. Even I could sense it. It was terrifying. There is no way the child could break through. She doesn't even have training. So long as she stays inside, everything will be alright. No one will ever know. Okay, so they hired, like, a Templar and a mage, and then the Templar killed the mage after what he did, whatever he did, to try and contain their child. And I believe it's their daughter? Yeah, she. They, okay, is a daughter. Who had some kind of magic ability, but they didn't want to send her to the Circle. Which makes sense, you know, they're uh, a noble family. I can't imagine it's very good to have to send off your only daughter to a to a circle to be turned into a mage for the rest of her life. Um, I'm guessing I have to drop down here. Maybe this is why the bar the uh, the things are broken. Uh, is there really no other way down? Well, I can't, now I'm kind of down here. I can't get back up. But I was imagining I would jump onto there, but I don't think that's actually going to happen. Why would you build a balcony here that actually has no access? There's no door here. Huh. So if I just got to drop down, because I'm going to take damage. I don't want to take damage. And also my party can't come down. But, oh, I don't know what I'm meant to have done here. I feel like this is the wrong thing to do, but screw it. 
Oh, hey guys! Right, everyone, everyone joined us. Right, shit, it's on me. I thought there might be some talking, but no. And he's got some ghouls coming as well. Right, let's just let's just get on this, shall we? This shouldn't be a terribly hard fight. It is only level fifteen. Come here. Oh, you're not dead? I thought you were dead. Now you're deader. You were you were already dead to start this. How was that it? I was hoping we could actually meet the daughter. Where's the daughter? Ah, god damn it. Said it before and I'll say it again. Ma special attacks should not miss like that. That's just bullshit. Is that it? Is that the end of it? That felt a little anticlimactic. Just killing the arcane horror. I guess the arcane horror was the possession of the daughter. And the daughter had kind of murdered everyone who was here. So that kind of makes sense. I mean, yeah, that is kind. That is pretty much exactly what happens when you don't send your, send your magic children to the circle to be trained. They get possessed by demons. This is why the circles kind of exist. Uh, ah, there he is. I knew he dropped some loot somewhere. Superb cooldown amulet. 15% cooldown modifier. That's actually pretty damn nice. Okay, can I afford to take all this? I can. And I now have the Don Dontier Crest Ring. What do I want the Crest Ring for? Alright, let's have a look at the map quickly. Is there any areas we couldn't get into before? Or have we actually visited all the places? One locked door, but that's the door I just opened. I kind of want to run back up there and just check. I feel... I feel like there's more. And I can hear something magical. What's, what's the magic thing I can hear? All the doors are shut again now. Oh, that's that, okay. That's what's making the noise there. I want to try and get back upstairs. Where's the, where's the stairs? How do I get up? Damn it! I feel like there's more. I would, oh, I want there to be more. I really enjoyed that. That was actually a really nice little side quest. Kind of just just spooky enough. Uh, there we go. Thank you. Eventually, it does light up a bit better. It was just spooky enough to be be really interesting. But I think we've kind of killed everything now. Man, it's really dark up here. I guess we don't have the ghost to light all the candles for us anymore. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why they wanted to light all the candles for us in the first place, but hey, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, the candelabras aren't lighting up anymore. That's a shame. No, that is okay. That is the door we already unlocked. I guess the markers just stayed. Oh, did I miss some loot though? Oh, I did. I can't afford to take any of it. God damn it! I'm actually full up. I can take. Okay, what we actually got? Yeah, that's not great. I don't actually need any of that. I guess. This probably means I actually need to get out of here. So let's take a look. We have we have fully done this area. Have we gone through that door? I think so. We're in the library. This doesn't look like a library, I'll be honest. Oh, this does, though. Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. I guess we, we don't get to learn any more about the daughter or exactly what happened here, but they were trying to con contain her magic ability by locking it down, by hiring the illegally hiring the services of a Templar or something. And it didn't work. And she got possessed. And then she murdered everyone. And then she murdered some thieves that turned up. And then we came along and just kind of sorts of stuff out. Hmm. I guess we just leave. So, I mean, I guess that kind of works. It was good while we were doing it. I'm just not sure the ending really worked out. Because we fa we f learned about that place when we found the note from some refugees who'd taken, who'd, uh, taken refuge there. And the spirit start in started impersonating their dead mum and locking them up. And one of the children kind of went a bit insane. But that doesn't quite tally with what we saw there. 
feels like the ending was a bit half-hearted. Maybe, maybe I just built up expectations too much in my mind's, my mind's eye. Maybe I, maybe my expectations were too high. Okay, we are back outside. Uh, we're in pretty good shape, actually. After the, after that whole quest, we didn't really need to use anything. So what do we have left to do? Not very much. There's like one shard I haven't got, and that's pretty much it. We've done, we've done all the things here. So I guess it's basically time to go back to sh uh, Skyhold. So I think what I'm going to do, we need to go actually unlock some operations. There's an operation over here to reveal more, and I wouldn't mind doing that. Um, I think there might have been another one. Maybe? Uh, that might have been the only one. We'll have to double check in Skyhold, I guess. Um, but yeah, we need to head back to Skyhold, so I'm probably going to do some inventory management before that. So I will see you all in a little bit back in Skyhold. Okay, we're back. We're in Skyhold, and I've cleared out most of my inventory. What I also need to do though before we head into the war room is I need to actually pass uh, hand over some of that research we've been gathering. I should have my research lady over here. There we go. What the, why, why are there so many noisy birds? Stop being noisy birds. Uh, I'm assuming we have some research to turn in so large weapon fragments. There's always this little delay on it. A little bit of influence. Nice. Maybe it's got to wait for that to pop up. You gonna do anything else? There we go. Damage bonus against humanoids. Dormant red lyrium removed. Frost drags removed. Damage bonus against demons. Dragon glands removed. Damage bonus against dragons. Horror claws removed. Smoldering cores. More damage bonuses against demons. Very nice. Uh, ooh, codex updates on dragon, rage demon, ghoul, and despair demon. Red templar archers, bruiser, great bear teeth removed. And red templar guardsman chain. Wow, we have a lot of research. Bloody hell. Uh, damage bonus against Red Templars, damage bonus against Undead, and we're done. Okay, cool. That was that was actually a lot of stuff. You know, I want to check out the Codex quickly. What do we what do we learn about... I don't often check the Codex. Wow, there's actually a lot of stuff I don't have in my Codex. Interesting. Um, let's see, where are dragons? Is that dragons? No, that's Brontos. Bruiser, corpse... Yeah, I can see... Okay, so we'll say researched damage against Undead increased. Doesn't say by how much. And what does what does that mean? What's these two stars? I should know that surely. Vargas, Wyvern, Wraith, Terror, Spellbinder, Snuffler. So it's like some of them I have one star, and some of them I don't. I guess okay. Maybe when you've got both, that's when you've got the damage bonus. Okay, yeah. Red Templar Foot Soldier. And we have bonus damage. Okay, cool. I should I should definitely remember to do that more often than I do. Uh, right, I could go around and talk to all these people, but we've actually got a bunch of stuff I need to do anyway. Let's head to the war room straight away. This is I went the wrong way. Let's head straight to the war room um, and do our stuff. We've got stuff to do. There's always stuff to do. Uh, war room is is that my quarters? No, yeah, that's my quarters. Don't need to go to my bedroom. Although I probably should. I mean, I've been there like once. I should probably like actually spend some time there with my girlfriend. Maybe. Probably should actually go talk to my girlfriend. Maybe at some point. But hey, let's worry about that another day. Right now we need to summon the War Council. Come to me, my Council of War. And yes, we have an Inquisition bug. I'd forgotten about that. Uh, right. What haven't we got yet? Um, anything that's really good. I don't really care about the schematics right now. Don't care about that. Rider's posture. I mean, we very <laughs> I very rarely use any of our mounts. So, yeah. Not so much with the needing of that. Is there anything special I really want? Extra herbs could come in handy. Uh, master herbalists could be nice. Although I don't know, actually know if I ever found where a large collection of uncommon herbs will be delivered for my use. I don't actually know if I ever got those. If I ever actually picked those up or collected them. They might be lying somewhere around the castle. They might have just been added to my inventory and I never noticed. Hmm. Discounts on stuff. More raw materials. And the possibility of some sales. Yeah, I don't really care about that either. I mean, money is not a problem for us. Ooh, gain one combat ability point. Urgh, that is tempting. You know what? Yeah, let's take that. One more combat ability point. 
Um, we can spend Someone's that later on. Turning into a bit of a dragon hunter, I've heard. Yeah, I mean, I've killed six dragons. I don't know how many dragons there are to kill, but I've killed six of them. That's for damn sure. Right, we should have some reports, because I gave people missions, like, a week ago. Dear cousin, I did not expect you to come to our rescue, as we haven't seen each other since we were babes. Nevertheless, you have, and I am grateful. Your soldiers knocked sense into the starters of this feud. No one has the heart for any more bloodshed, since your people rode in between their skirmishes and subdued or cowed the captains into surrender. If Trevelyan's fight... It should be for a noble cause. I've sent some of my guard to help your Inquisition, and I pray Andraste truly guide your hand. Cool, we got some of my family to come help out. Giving me 30 more influence, I'll take that. Uh, strike a bargain with the Merchant Princes. I've got money and more influence, perfect. Uh, a bundle of documents of at least 50 pages thick explains the trade agreement between <laughs> the Inquisition has entered into with the Merchant Princes of Antiva. And Josephine has attached a note. Inquisitor, I am more than satisfied with the agreement we reached with the Merchant Princess. Here is a du duplicate if you wish to review it. Almost certainly not. There is a giant helicopter flying over my house right now. What the hell? I need to go look at that. Okay, sorry about that. I assume you guys heard that as it was rather loud. Um, I lived near an airport. Not very close to an airport, but occasionally stuff will fly overhead. Um, and today, apparently, a Chinook. You know, one of those double-bladed, uh, double rotor helicopters, the big the big ones, basically. Um, just flew right over the top of my head. That was rather impressive. Um, yeah, we've got a bargain with merchants. Excellent. What next? An offer from the Crows. Ooh, a new grip. Masterwork Mabari grip. With your knowledge of the Venatori and the Crows' intelligence on Enzo, I tracked down a storehouse just outside of the city. I hope you didn't want us to leave any of the Venatori alive. Sadly, Lord Enzo was not present, but he may count his life in days. To show we respect our current arrangement, an interesting trinket from our raid on the Venatori. Cool. I like the uh, Antivan Crows, you know, working with us, rather than against us. Uh, what have we got here? This one's new. I'm missing Assassin. My dear Leliana, your Inquisition is working with Crows. I ask only because I've, I may have removed one of the Assassins from your employ. If I'd known the man was yours, I would have at least let him finish the contract. And no matter, allow me to make it up to you. You know I would do a much better job than the Crows, and I am far more pleasing to work with. No? As a favour to a friend, I'll charge you only a fraction of the price. Zevran. Oh wow, it's Zevran. Cool. Uh, we haven't seen him for a... Well, we haven't seen him at all this game. Uh, Leniana can do that. Okay, Cullen basically doesn't want to do that at all. Leliana reckons we should do that. Yeah, I think I can have both Zevran and the Crows working for us. That's fine. Go do that. It's only going to take you ten minutes, after all. What have we got? Search for the hack writer or delicate negotiations. That sounds like something for Josephine. 16 hours! Bloody hell. Or 19 hours. Okay. Um, what's this actually about? Inquisitor. Here's the thing. I don't even own a mask. Thus, when the Olesian Empress invites me to engage in real peace talks, I get nervous. I don't know what Olesians mean when they say that, but I hear it involves poison and dancing, perhaps both at the same time. I'm told you know Empress Selene, and she owes you for that whole saved your life business. Considering you also helped save mine, perhaps the Inquisition could help make these talks happen. King Alistair for in. Alistair! Ah, one of the best companions from the first game. Uh, yeah, sure, we'll, you know, we'll do that. Let us begin. 16 hours, that's a long time. Uh, we need something for Cullen to do. Um, let's see. Judgment. The death of good Sir Roof. End. What the what the hell's end? There is a lady sitting amidst the tattered splendour of her nobility. Only her legacy is an ancient name, high and esteemed. She may restore wealth and dignity to her line by marrying the man to whom she was promised a birth. He is prosperous and powerful, but leaves her cold. The lady sits by her casement and gazes at the soldier who truly has a heart. She prays to the maker for deliverance. She prays for intervention, a sudden knife, and we hear her cry. How will the maker's instrument strike? Will he strike? A knot for the herald to unravel. Interesting. Okay, so that's one of my assassin trainers. Uh, with a mission for us. Colour doesn't seem to want to do that. I can kind of understand why. We'll come back to that one. Uh, I do kind of need something for for Cullen to do though. Uh, reparations for Redcliffe. Yeah, we can send people to make repairs. 
Uh, a letter has arrived stamping the seal of Redcliffe. As the Inquisition has assumed responsibility for the Mage Rebellion, the Arling of Redcliffe holds you accountable for the losses suffered by our people while providing hospitality to your mages. A freehold in Renesphere was burned to the ground, two farms suffered crop losses, five people were injured. Uh, fine, yeah, he wants some stuff for us. Um, yeah, Cullen, go do that. Right. It's only going to take you an hour. That's fine. Right, now we actually need to, you know, an actual kind of mission for us to go do while my people are off doing stuff. Um, I did say I wanted to get back on towards the main plot, but not just yet. There are still a few loose ends um, we need to do. We still need to help out with... Um, we've got something that Cassandra wants us to do. And we've got something that uh, Leliana wants us to do. And I'd rather go do those first before we do the main plot, in case they go away. And I think we can access them from the fast travel stone rather than the war table. Um... Oh, I did forget to actually unlock stuff there. Tell you what, next time we're going to do one of the missions for people. I'm going to end this one here so I can just go fix some of my mistake. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye.